Remember in middle school when the older kids would block the locker room <laughs> door, turn out the lights, and chant Bloody Mary in front of the mirror? It was supposed to, like, make the queen's ghost come back. <laughs> I don't know, haunt your stepdad's house. <laughs> or make you get your first period during the homecoming dance. <laughs> that was terrifying, and your friends were dicks. But the real Bloody Mary wasn't as scary as she was just um, sad. <laughs> and okay, also murderous. Let's get into it. It's time for random knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're Geeks You Drink and we read stuff all the time. This is random knowledge. When Mary I was born in 1516, her parents had already buried four other kids. So you'd think that they would have, like, really loved her, right? Instead, her King of England dad was disappointed that she didn't have a penis and thus wouldn't make a worthy heir. This is Henry VIII we're talking about. Folks, it was kind of a thing with him. On top of that, her pop soon developed a problem when it came to marrying, divorcing, and beheading his wives. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. So, apart from trying to marry her off twice before she turned seven, he didn't pay Mary much attention. Lo and behold, he divorced her mom, Catherine of Aragon, founding the Protestant Church of England in the process. He quickly remarried, declared Mary an illegitimate child, told her she could never see her beloved mother again, and forced her to become a servant to her infant half-sister. And she didn't even have the consolation of any cartoon mice for friends. When Henry finally died, Mary was 30, but her nine-year-old half-brother Edward VI became king. His hobbies included normal kid stuff like refusing to eat his carrots, plus normal 16th century king stuff like harassing Mary for being Catholic. Edward died six years later, but not before willing the throne to his cousin, Lady Jane Grey. A fed up Mary finally said, F this, in a polite accent assembled the military, got the okay from the Privy Council, and kicked Lady Jane off the throne after only nine days. And yes, like father, like daughter, she executed Jane and her husband. This is a big turn in her character arc, you see. Finally queen, at 37, Mary started focusing on her Catholic faith and asking her subjects whether they were Catholic or Protestant. There was only one right answer, and so she had more than 280 Protestants burned at the stake, earning herself that unshakable Bloody Mary nickname. <coughs> Mary died after just five years on the throne. You can find her tomb in Westminster Abbey, but you'll have to really look for it. She's buried beneath that butt-faced baby half-sister Elizabeth I. If we were her, we'd probably haunt the shit out of people too. Now that you feel a little better about your family problems, you also just got a couple free answers for the Geeks Who Drink quiz on this date right here. Visit geekswhodrink.com to find out where we're quizzing in your city. But before that, do us a favor by liking this video and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss the next episode of Random Knowledge. See you then. Mm -hmm.